This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Mackenzie in Marbella. We're at Thomond Park here in Limerick. Right, just want to get one thing what? started. What's off wrong? Kogan. What's wrong? Just a minute ago, I was doing an interview and you was being, if I want to call it, a racist to me. You was yelling the words underneath your breath. Do you know what I said there? Why are you making things up? You just said, you were saying to me, Jimbo, while I was doing. I would never, Any interview. I would never have said now, that. Now, on the 19th of September, I want you to get on the mic and I want you to stand in the middle of that pitch and then start saying, Jippo, and putting all your fingers up and doing all what you're doing to me a minute ago. See what happens. That never happened. Tell no, what you're talking listen, about. Listen, and another thing, your cameras sort the sound out on them. Sort the sound out of them. Don't worry, don't shake, I'm not going to hit you. Oh, just, sort, just sort the sound out because the sound is terrible. To be fair. How are you, Billy? Not too bad, Cook, and you? Very well. Things. Yeah, all right. Apart yeah. from you trying to put nuts in my mouth today on the plane. Nuts in your mouth? That sounds a bit gay, Cook. And you mm. just, listen, anyone Peanuts. go on my Facebook and watch his mouth, the way he sleeps. He sleeps like an mm. orcs. His mouth's undone like that. <laughs> his tongue's down here somewhere. I've never seen anything like it. It's scary. There's you, kids you on the You wish plane. you got a better video, though, didn't you? Uh, to be fair, you were set tight between two ladies and... There was you over the side, and it was hard for me to uh, to get to you. Yeah. Anyway, this is a beautiful venue. It is, yeah, lovely place. And uh, come 19th of September, yeah, this will be packed out, and uh, you'll hopefully, in your eyes, realise your dream of becoming world champion. Yeah, I mean, also what you were saying on the way here, bit Andy and the taxi. What was that? Go on, say it. Saying, ah, oh, smash Andy, Billy Joe, you're just the best, and. I'm so Billy Joe, Saunas and this team, and but yet you say it when you're on Andy's side, so let's, let's not take the him. <laughs> Don't laugh, Kogan. Are you slightly gay that's not in England? Do you know what, Kogan? I'm here now, right? It is what it is. You fight for world title. If I had to go to Japan, I'd be happy to go and fight for it there. I don't care where i got to go. And to be fair, I've got a lot of Irish support. got a lot of Irish following. So... I'm not, I'm not bothered, you know what, an hour on a plane, 45 minutes on the plane. So what, to be world champion? I'll go 50 hours on a plane and fight. Not a problem, I'm going to be world champion anyway. Can you just stress the importance of this fight within the traveller community, for people that don't know, for, for what you'd call no. a gorgeous? No, listen, I think that, obviously, me and Andy Lee, there's there's added spice to this fight, is it? For one, because it's... it's, it's um. It's a history fight. We're making history. Two travellers fighting for a world title, um, but also we none of us don't want to lose. From where we come from, we none of us don't want to lose. We one of us is going to do damage to ourselves in that ring before we're going to come out and just lose. And that's before we let ourselves lose, or one of us get knocked out cold, because it's really, really. It's going to be a funny atmosphere in that ring. Just this is a very important clue not to lose. I don't want to lose no more flying in the air. Boxing's boxing, but I'm going to come here and give it my heart and everything I got to beat Andy Lee. And I know if I bring that, that's good enough. The people he's been in the ring with, people will argue that they're a better caliber of opposition than a new face in yeah. your career. Uh, he's been in the likes of Peter Quillen, etc., etc., Chavez, and all these people. What's that going to count for on the night, in your opinion? Listen, he's he's got the experience in it, Andy. Um, Chavez went in there, he got stopped. Peter Quillen, weight drained. Was he a big amateur star? I'm not saying I'm a big amateur star, but Peter Quillen really, no, he wasn't really embedded into him. Um, Korobov, yeah, good amateur fighter. Um, ain't really cut it as a pro, has he? Let's be fair from day one. I'm not taking anything away from Andy Lee, nothing, but if he'd have come away with the Peter Quillen win, then I'll look back. And Peter Quillen was weight drained a little bit as well. You know, he didn't make that weight, did he? And let's say he did bust himself to get down to that weight. What do you think about Andy Lee and Adam Booth's comments in the press conference that, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on in the fight, that just one punch could could sway and end the night well, for you? I think that Adam Booth, you know, Adam Booth is an experienced trainer. He's had, a, you know, he's had David A and he's, you know, a lot of other people, George Groves and that. And he knows that, he knows himself that, Andy Lee could get very easily outboxed by me. And he's got to put into his fighter's head. Don't worry, if you're losing this round, we're getting the next. 
it's, you didn't car brother, you catch him. But if I'm winning that fight, I'm not switching off for one second. See, the L, 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 and Lee's beat these people is when they're in the trenches with him, and they're literally not bullying him, but doing what they want with him, and then they start to try and things, they start to get careless. Then Andy can punch, and all of a sudden he's he catching them little gloves. That's pretty cool, and it cost him the fight. He got put over, got careless, got caught, got cost him a draw, really. Um, uh, same with Jackson, all over uh, Lee from round one to whenever it ended. He's got careless and got caught. And the same with Karabov, he was, Andy, um, Adam Berg said he had it 3 2. I had it 5 1 being kind. You know, 5 1 being kind, and he got careless and got caught. If you get careless with Andy Lee, you will be made pay for it. That's definitely for sure. He ain't world champion for nothing. Do you believe you've got the power to trouble Andy Lee? I know I've got the power to trouble Andy Lee. I'm not the biggest of punches going there in one punch, but I know if I hit Andy Lee, if I hit Andy Lee, Andy Lee ain't going to sit there and think, and walk through them. I've got power where people can't walk through. I'm not saying I'm going to hit you and knock you out or put you into the ring and drop you. And I've got power. Once you get hit by me, you know you've been hit. It's not one of them where you hit and you don't feel anything. You will know you've been hit. And I know that's enough to stop people walking through me. And if it comes, I catch him. And it happens, it happens. I'll try to finish it. If not, we'll see. Just finally, you had a bit of a frustrating summer. You thought that the Saunders Eubank 2 fight was going to happen yeah. back in June. It didn't. <coughs> so, are you pleased the way it's turned out now that the fight you're this having? This was always my plan to fight Eubank. Uh, well, to fight Carbro, but then his name got chucked up because he was always mentioning it and uh, got paid a lot better money. So, to fight Eubank, then it was always for the world title after that. You know, that was the WBO. We boxed for the WBO, even though I didn't need to, for the uh, eliminator for the WBO world title. And, um, then fight for the world title, but then obviously a spanner got chucked in the works. Um, when you know, this they mentioned the money for the rematch. I don't have no problem in giving them the rematch, but he's a little he's a little div, isn't he? What's the point of keep hanging around for him? Where he's just he's just a waste of space. He literally is a waste of space. He belongs on the plane with you going back. The rematch is unlikely to ever happen. Oh mate, listen, he is. He. I don't even want to, he, he's not even worth talking about, Coogan, to be honest. A rematch, if I'm willing to give him a rematch when I'm good and ready now, it, it'll have to be everything I say because if that situation would have been on the other foot and I would have got beat on November, I would have said to Frank, well, all right, Frank, listen, take everything, take me about this shitty belt I've got here, right, throw it in the bin, just get Billy Joe back in the ring with me, if I'd have been Eubanks, I'd have been thinking like this, get Billy Joe back in the ring with me, give me peanuts, whatever you want, just get him back in the ring, but he knows not to get him back in the ring, because him and his dad, they're just two lunatics, mate, they're just two absolute divs, they haven't got a clue, and yes, he sucks his dad's cock still, and he's a wanker. Alright, Billy he's Joe, gay. Billy Joe, Saunders, Thanks for talking to IFL TV. Yeah. Um, Coogan Tom and Sola. Certainly did not. You said you called him a wanker, that's why he won't. And you even called him a wanker and you video people for boxing. Or I no, didn't, James. I didn't do that. And now he won't talk to um, to you over it. Don't edit this, Coog. Don't, not when you say edit this, because I will get on Twitter and say Coogan's edited it. Please don't edit it. No, you say something, I can deny it, just like you can. Yeah. Would you put it in your ass? Why? Greasy. Why? Tell me why. Because it was greasy. Coogan, listen, you was laying with a slobber on your mouth earlier on the plane, that length. You was laying down there, there was women mm. aside of you, right? Children looking and pointing at you, saying, what's that? That's an animal, they were saying. <laughs> they was looking at you like you were some sort of uh, llama or something, asleep in the chair. <laughs> oh, God. They were, they were scared of you, man. All right. Oh, I've got to go, mate. Yeah. Well, we've got someone who's trying to talk to Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen. Let's leave him. Bill. Oh, fuck off.